Hey everyone, so um, today I'm going to be doing another random appliance video. Um, I noticed na, uh, I noticed that you guys really liked the last video I did on the Philips on tap water filter. So if you haven't seen that, it is currently the most viewed video on my channel. So um, I'll try to do the fancy thing where I put it here somewhere. Um, or if I can't figure that out, then I'll just put it in the info box below. But today I wanted to tell you guys about, well, actually not just tell you guys about, but show you how I use the Dirma like personal blender thing. Um, it comes with another, let me get it actually. Um, it comes with another one of these things. Um, has like a flip top cap. That oh, convenient silicone or rubber or whatever that is, strap. Oh, I've never okay. I've never actually used this because I don't go anywhere. Um, so here. Um, I normally use this to make myself protein shakes. Um, I'm not by any means a super super healthy person, but I definitely know that it's personally really hard to get enough protein into my diet. Um, especially with um, more recently I've been trying to work out more. Um, because you know, world's about to open up and I need to fit into my clothes because I don't have the money to buy a whole new wardrobe. So, um, I before I bought this, and even when I bought this, I was always really curious about like, you know, how safe is it? Is it actually going to work? Can it blend ice? So, I have ice here. Um, and I wanted to show you guys really like how I use it. Um, or like not how, how I use it. Anyway, let me stop rambling. Let me just put my stuff in. So normally I will use a combination of milk and water for my protein shakes. Almond milk is my favorite. This one, vanilla almond breeze. Um, I'll put about that much in. It's maybe like, I wanna say three fourths of a cup. I try not to go crazy with the almond milk because obviously, well not obviously, but because that has calories that I don't need. And then I'm going to put whole, just whole frozen ice cubes right in. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> just put that back. I need to put the protein powder in first. In case you don't care how I do my protein, um, you can just jump to, you know, using the thingies below, just hover over the bar. And I will try to put timestamps for when the actual blending happens. But. Since I'm here, I might as well tell you about my... So far, I really like this, the just... The whale just protein matcha. It does not 100% taste like matcha, but you know, it's something interesting and something to change it up if you don't always want to go for chocolate, which, you know, I don't always want chocolate. It doesn't, it t it doesn't taste that much like matcha. I would compare it to... Um, green tea Kit Kats that you buy not in Japan. If you know, you know, they taste different for sure. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. While I was there, I decided to fill up the cup about a little more than halfway with water, sorry. And now is the time to put in the ice. Try to put it in sideways so that it doesn't just splash in my face. Um, just so you know, I normally don't do this on the bed. I will normally do this on like uh, the table, like a normal person, but you can probably hear, or at least I, well, I hope you can't, but if you can hear, my dad is watching TV right now and it's super loud. So I'm trying to get as far away from the sound as possible. Um, even though this is going to be a little bit noisy. So um, after you do that, just take the base. This is already charged. Um, I'll show you like this actual thing a little bit more up close later, but screwing it on, um, like getting it even is a little bit hard. Oh, sorry. And if you heard that, it will beep when it's closed, like closed so that it's safe to blend. Um, and now I'm going to actually do the, turn it over and do the blending. So I'm not going to um, like mute this or put music over it because some of you probably want to know how noisy it is. Um, and how it does with the ice in there. I put three cubes of ice in. So yeah, if you're wearing headphones, this is your official warning. I'm about to turn the blender on. It's gonna be loud. Okay. Oh.
Now you can hear. Well, I don't know if you heard that, but you can't hear any ice clinky anymore. It's completely dissolved. This is not super easy to clean and I'll show you how I clean it later, but it is easier, at least for me to clean than one of those protein shakers. And obviously those, well, at least as far as I know of, those are my only two options because I don't want to, well, no, I don't want to. It just doesn't work when you try to mix up protein shakes any other way. Um, and obviously like if you had ice, you couldn't like, do that in a blender. Um, oh, sorry, you couldn't do that in a protein shaker. You couldn't blend them up. So yeah, let me just, uh, well, while I'm waiting for the bubbles to settle, let me show you what this actually look like, looks like, even if it's upside down. So there's actually only one button. Um, to be 100% honest, I'm still not 100% sure how this actually works. I think I double click it to start, but sometimes it goes and like, sometimes it starts and sometimes it doesn't. You can probably find more instructions about that online or in the pamphlet, but I didn't read it. So <laughs> there. And then um, there's all these bunch of like stickers on them. I don't really mind them as long as you know I'm using common sense when I use this. I don't put anything like metal in there or anything. And then here in the back, it did come with just like your standard um, Android charging cable. And it's a little hard to open, but honestly to me that's fine because it is uh, water resistant so that if you're washing the inside, like when you're scrubbing down here and you have to rinse the whole thing in the sink, it doesn't, like, it's not that dangerous. Um, so I have washed this so many times now. Um, I've had this since last year um, and it's been working great. It literally has not um, done anything weird really. And I've washed it so, I obviously I wash it every time I use it, but I, I, I deep clean it and I wash um, the base every time I use it. I don't just rinse it like I scrub it with soap. So yeah, I think it's pretty safe. And I've actually not had to charge this that much. Um, and at one point I was using it like three times a week, granted that I only like make shakes with it. So maybe it's not using that much energy. I don't know, but pretty happy with it. So I'm going to go drink this and actually, let me just unscrew the top so you can hear what it sounds like when I unscrew it. But there. So I don't know if you caught that, but it's like blinking. So that basically is telling you that, you know, the seal, you know how a while ago it beeped one long beep and then turned blue. Um, that's to tell you that it's properly sealed. And when you do the long red beeps, it's to tell you that it's, or the two red beeps, it's not sealed anymore. So what I was doing there was basically because there's, there is obviously like liquid in there, residue. So I try to let whatever's on the blades, like I touch it on the side of the, the spout of the, the cup so that whatever's there can drip down. And then I'll show you this again later, but as you can see, um, there's always, always gonna be residue in there. But the good thing is this gray, light gray rubbery part with that nub. Um, I'm not sure if that nub is actually for helping you to like get the rubber out easier, but that's what I use it for and it works super well. Um, so yeah, I'll show you after I drink this how I clean it later. Hello. Okay, so it is now basically like two months later. Um, and I basically just kept forgetting to film this part. But today I'm finally going to show you how I wash this blender. So I actually already kind of started. So you can see that there is the gray um, piece of rubber here that keeps the container sealed. There is a little nub right there. It's kind of gross, but yeah, that little nub is usually what I will use to pry, um, like get one side up and then I'll just go around and take it out like that. And from there, from there, it's fairly easy. You just, as long as you make sure that this charging um, cover is closed, you can really just wash it um, like a normal person. Um, I have a little wash cloth um, next to my sink, so I will just put a little bit of soap on that, and then. Mostly I use this to get around the edges, like that. 
get around the base. Make sure you don't um, cut yourself on the blade. Make sure you stay away from that. But um, what I find is actually usually the problem is this actual blade and right underneath it is what's hardest to clean. So I'll show you how I do that in just a sec. Um, just like a little. Okay. And then this one. Put a little soap on it. This one is actually fairly easy to clean. Comes rubber, most of it just slides off. Okay. Rinse that really quick. And then, I don't know if you can actually see that, but right there underneath the blade um, is usually where it's hard to clean. So for that, I use the um, straw cleaner that I have because everybody's using reusable straws, right? And it's small enough and bendable enough to where you can basically scrub like a toothbrush underneath the blade. Now, it's obviously taking me a little bit more time to do this because I'm trying to explain it to you as I do it. But trust me, if you were Doing this on your own, it would be much, much easier. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not really afraid of getting it wet because that seal over the charger port is pretty tight. I just want to make sure, especially because I put dairy products in here, like the protein powder, and then I also put almond milk so it has fats in it. Just want to make sure that's very, very clean. Okay, I think that is, that's pretty much it. Doesn't that look pretty clean? And what I will do is because there's all that water in there, I will put on the rubber thing, but I'll let it dry like that. Like I won't put it back in all the way. And then of course there's just the cup. And this one is very easy to clean. Just a little bit of soap in there, get the same dish rug, and go ahead and scrub. Now if it's too far down, I'll actually use both, and then just use this to kind of help me push down on the thing as I... Okay, maybe that's not, that's not working. Normally I have a spoon or something. Like if I'm washing other spoons and forks, I just use that, I use the back of it to do this. I unfortunately don't have one around me right now because I tried to clean around the sink in preparation for this video. Didn't that backfire on me. Just like that, it's super, okay, super clean. And then I will just do the same thing to the other side. Oh, to the other bottle, I mean. There you are, all clean, super fresh, and ready to be used for your next shake.